set him on his way. Stay on the fairway, though. Oh, it has perfection. Couldn't get it. Oh, what a shot! Perfect tee shot, Sam. And oh, he's done the impossible to get it close to that flag. And he's not going to miss that one. In your <laughs> dead right, and he took a chance, but take a chance on me. For Rory, after that marvellous approach, eleven under par. I think early on, up and over the slope, two putts will be just fine. Only the second birdie so far at the first. More than slightly, probably, to Tom Kim. He makes his part at the first as well. So he and Tyrrell Hatton remain in the group chasing McElroy at nine under par. No, hates it. This is right. There's oh, trouble up here. Back. Bunkers rough. That'll be very difficult for Rory. It's certainly three wood for McElroy, but I like iron down, please. Just run it up, nestle behind the first three bunkers. He's looking a little anxious. <coughs> Trying to wander its way back towards the fairway. Doesn't like it. Like a little more in a moment. Yeah. Oh, that's the release we've been talking about through the fourth. Not that difficult from here. He won't struggle to reach the hole. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. quick. Not much in it, Sam. <laughs> Said he wouldn't struggle to reach the hole. Of course, he's going to leave it short. Thank you. Shame. But after the tee shot, he would have taken four. A lot of bluffed out for Tom Kim. It's not that much elevation change from over there. Right, Still fine effort. No trouble for his par. He'll roll that in. To remain two behind McElroy, who's tapped in himself. Good start, isn't it, from the south? Well, he's hit the green today. Can McElroy be the first? He likes it. The line's good. There's the length. Carry that hump at the front. He's got a chance. Oh, magnificent, a short right, a lovely little angle into the pin where it is. That's also perfect. Good angle actually, it's quite flat around the hole. So she get this dancing pretty close. Trying to zip this in quite low. 
Sit, sit. Oh. A good layup down that right side gives you a good angle to the flags with a just cut behind the, the top bunker. Chance to get back within one here. Short in the jaws. And also some really good work around young people and young golfers for the future. So th this, this is the platform, but actually some of those other things, as you say, are, are actually now more important or as important as the golf. Yeah. Near miss as well for Rory McIlroy. So no birdie at five. So his lead will remain at 12 under, two over the rest right now in the Genesis Scottish Open. Oh, do you like this, Sam? It's beautiful, the line is beautiful, just a little long. Oh, I thought it was right down the throat, that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What a time to watch. Nearly an ace on the way by for Tom Kim. McElroy, a big cheer if this goes in. It's for a two at number six. Extend his lead. Oh, it had a hop. Oh, a hop skip and a jump. To get within one after a magic tee shot. Well done. Rammed it in with confidence. The confidence of youth. Up behind it quickly. Yes, nicely done. One ahead as he moves to the seventh. They walk past the uh, the clubhouse again on the way back. Ooh, it was a hard, firm shooting bounce to the right into thicker looking stuff. Straight down the middle. Will it carry the bunker? Easily. Magnificent again from McElroy. Is Norfolk flat? So I'll just sort of feather this in. Coming in with pace, as it often seems to do on that kind of grass. There's not much to stop it as well, especially in the left half of the seventh green. Really releases. He likes it again. Oh, why not? Why not? Rory McIlroy. It's just like yesterday again. It's just peppering the flags. I'll go quietly then. No, no, I think <laughs> that doesn't make you wrong. Could do. <laughs> that ball never left the putting surface. It was just. <laughs> A well deserved birdie there, Sam. Not play a hole better than that, can you? No. <laughs> no, demo uh, just demolish the hole with the drive. I mean. Taking a little bit off the six. Might even go the hard seven just up that right side, trying to get this to pin high, McElroy. <laughs> Needs a bit more pace in this. 
Yeah, we've seen quite a few come up short from there. Well, he's gone right, hasn't he? That needed a, an ounce or two more. Last three holes, it would have been easy to drop one on each of them, but he's end, ended up making pars 4 4 3, 33. 30k. Three on the front line for Rory McElroy. to the 10th uh, tee, but he's going to take a two-shot lead. <laughs> One that might not have an answer. It's down the left, no question, but wow, it's, it's such a funky green to really get close. Well, Wind has really, left. really just picked up, guys. This is a big patch of uh, lush grass down there. Might have just found a hoping to get some flight and stop this. It's the only way you will finish on this green. The line's great. Oh, what a shot, McElroy. Oh, my God. This is that's sublime. It's just sublime. Incredible. It's magic. Everyone would have been down here Tuesday, Wednesday, because this is the miss. Pitching on a down slope, so this will release. Not bad. Eight out of ten. Very good. Very good. McElroy. I used to see in scenarios like this. I've seen this film. How did he make four and I missed this? Just dives. Missed uh, six parts inside ten feet yesterday for birdie. It is still a birdie. In fairness, that was a good part. Ah, uh, don't hit it! Don't hit it! There's a big tree there. He wants to miss it. God's sake. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Wait to see, he can't believe, he will not believe where that is when it's up there. Yes. Oh, there we go. He's only hit two, uh, two fairways to here. Found something there, Tom Kim. <laughs> They really hit that well. I was really pleased with it. I think you have to almost bounce the slope if you want to keep it there on this breeze at the minute. A little bit in that. Long will definitely come back a bit. It's going to stay up there, I think. It's only about eight yards to play with on that plateau. There's always something around here that's going to test you. Uphill, down breeze. It's like trying to land it on a table for 12, where the flag is today. Oh, it's oh, sort of looking left and looking right as it was going down the hill. We had a great view of it. You have to be positive. Inside left. Beautiful. Well struck. God, it was positive, wasn't it? <laughs> Positively positive. Can the maestro get at it? Oh, 
I think it was a little easier to access early on when the wind wasn't uh, helping so much. 16 birdies so far on the 12th, surprisingly so. Definitely a club of breeze, maybe even a little bit more. Trying to use a little right slope. You see the problem, can't you? The hollow to the right guards it. If you come up short there, if you go left, you get kick off where Rory's gone. It's Mighty good effort. Momentum-wise, this is a, the biggest part of his day, really. If he can just keep the round going. Oh, no. Hasn't had too many tests, has he? Uh, maybe that from the bunker at eight, which he made up and down. No up and down this time round. So that is going to cost McElroy a shot. His lead cut to one. Remember, I'll leave that off until this group. He's too sensible, Rory. Or not daft enough, whichever way you want to put it. I don't think you need that. It's okay. Maybe for this uh, tree, they should give them maybe a complimentary ball. He's going in, probably not. Second Set. sign, then third sign Set. from the. Set. Set. Oh, Rory, goodness gracious. And lucky it did sit. You wouldn't want a big bounce on that one. Hold the face open and land it on the right flag, and this is a beauty. It just gathers down, in some ways, getting it a little further right helps it. Nicely done, not tempting the hollow on the left. Yesterday, that happened. Similar putt up the hill, left to right. So near yet so far. Beautiful putt from the right. Tom Kim to join the lead. Not this time. I think if you get the ball flying on that breeze left to right, it's definitely going to be helping it slightly, but not much, mostly off the left. Shaft, nudge it forward, take the little bit of spin off it, not too high. Oh. Oh, a great bounce, that's serious as a tradesman's entrance, that one, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Creative play, Sam. From sort of the hole towards Tom Kim looking right, so starting it right. Sort of whizzing it left and trying to bring it back really on the breeze. I just think there's a little bit more right to left in, on this. He loves it. What a great turn, eh? What a putt. Just with the doctor yeah. Misses This is this, and McElroy has a three shot lead. Remains at two. He's been quite confident from uh, three, four feet today, Tom Kim. Especially on a right to left draw, as Macker will hopefully demonstrate. Touch left. Don't I think. 
Oh, it's perfect. But through the rough, right into just mayor's office. Narrow stance, very little plane change in this swing, hence why he hits so many fairways, Tom Kim. It's a joy to watch him, actually. I wonder if he must have played with Rory before, Ken. Swings are a little like Shoffley, very nice, lovely, wide swing, great arc. Just drops the club on the ball. Very impressive for the young man. It's a simple up and over, really, down the breeze. So can have a go at this. What a fine effort. He's been good on the greens today, hasn't he, Tom Kemp? Another one goes. Second drop shot of the round for McElroy. Well, when you've hit a drive so far up there, so perfectly, I, mean, I know you didn't, uh, there's a misjudgment with his second, but oh, it's heartbreaking. Blind second, so it's certainly a makeable birdie par five. No run on it at all, but it's okay. Just try and run one up as close as possible. Actually quite a hard layup when you can't really see over the brow of the hill. She might as well smash one. It's come out hot. Take the wind out of play. I'll give it another 15 footer up the hill. And to me, oh, I think that'd be a hell of a shot. Yeah, this is floating go. big time. <laughs> okay. That's, he should two part it for his part. But he just needed someone to watch him identify as he's just trying to run one up the green. Terrible lie. Awful, in fact. Hatton hit quite a good pitch but pulled up quickly, so there's your clue for McElroy. Got to go. Another one of them, he knows it. It's the title lead. Oh, so close. It could have been to take the lead with one. McElroy's left himself. It's not often you say it's a good five on a par, par five for McElroy. Just a normal five iron. Oh, thank you. It's left. I thought he was heading away into the trees and we reaction. Well, he let the club go there. Nope. 
Shame, that was a good swing. Just hung out there. It was a tricky up and down, Ken. Beautifully played. Beautifully played, Rory McIlroy. Just got up there, that's a good eight feet short, I think. Mm, six feet. Solid, solid as a rock. McElroy steps in quickly, he makes his part. Lovely chip. So he stays one ahead with just the 18th to come. Should carry the bunker, needs a wee kick left, maybe. No, it went right. Well, we don't know, we can't tell. Setting up for a big cut, big slice. Not bad at all. Nine out of ten there, that's a lovely spot. I believe even if he could get there, I'm not sure he needs to. I feel like it's all about the third shot. Go on, left. <coughs> That'll be a really tough shot from there now. Just trying to get it up on top, really, give himself a flat putt. It's not easy, this. Exquisite shot, exquisite, beautifully played, beautifully thought out. Very good. Great pace, should be a tap in for 67. Beautiful up and down, young Tom Kim. A fine day, the lead maximum is going to be one. 67. Very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> Rory has this one to match Tom Kim with a round of 67. No problem at all. And Rory McIlroy will take a one-shot lead into the final round of the Genesis Scottish Open. Looking for a second Rolex Series victory. Remember, he won in Dubai earlier this season. What a final day we have in prospect. Rory trying to win for the first time on Scottish soil. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.